How you doing? This is Don. I am the Gun Muse, and this is for RogersRaiders.com. Guns of glory, of course. Uh, this does apply to multiple games, right? By Fun Plus, K Kingdoms of Avalon, Survival, uh, whatever else they come up with. Uh, they tend to have duplicated math. And this is the new firewall system. All right. So as they're going to these new guards and new systems, in the different versions of Kingdoms of Avalon, uh, and there is now some older versions of this is like Guns of Glory, but it's not type stuff. Eh, all the stuff. Anyway, use your brain. You can use my tools. That's the way this works. Okay, so this is a premium feature. Uh, if you're not a member over at Rogers Raiders, $2 a month, and I will save you a fortune on a pay-to-play game. Guys, the firewall works. Uh, there has been a massive effort to discredit it because I had only the distance firewall up, the distance meat shield up, using old math uh, from three years ago that still kind of worked, but uh, it was dumb math. Uh, this one now takes your stats, right? And if you're a new person, you're going to hit new entry, update your stats for the website. From there, we will be able to do a lot of stuff for me. All the other tools up at the top, uh, even some of the free member stuff, all that stuff relies on the information you put in there. Uh, the top rank guys, definitely the information comes in from there. I've got some sanity checks in there to keep people from just blowing inflated numbers up in there. Uh, if you got a lot of people, somebody's going to know who you are. Uh, either way so but for this table we're concerned with our march capacity right uh we now to make this firewall effective you've got to do uh certain things that people tend to skip over because they think it's unimportant your academy is now very important again it it really fell by the wayside. They were throwing so many top stats at this game that you, you went, screw it. Why am I going to spend four months getting plus 2% in my academy? You know, right? For all the RSS that is sucked up. Well, now that we get up to academy level 41, there's a whole bunch of research on the end that is a lot cheaper in RSS and they're bigger stat gains and they're on the base stat side. If you don't understand what I mean by base stat side, uh, there is a, a video that's called Math and Other FN Problems that I wrote that explains the difference between base math and the show math. What you see on your report isn't all the math that you need to concern yourself with. You got to concern yourself with some of these base stats that don't show up on the report. Or even sometimes they do show up on the report, but they're calculated different. What you see on a report is not what's actually going on in the fight. And everybody goes, oh, I don't know how I lost that fight. And it's some base math number that you can't see. That's how you lost it. Okay. Trust me, the computer is just going to do the math. That's, that's at the end of the day, all the graphics and everything else we see, that's display portion of it. You got to get your brain to separate what you see and what mathematically took place may not be the same thing. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the YouTubers that I pushed off years and years ago, Phoenix, used to talk about, well, some people think because the artillery graphic is coming in last that the, the graphics got nothing to do with it. That's something they're showing you while the computer did math. The, uh, it, it's, <laughs> the, to think that the graphics on your screen have anything to do with the result of the conflict is asinine thinking in its best. Uh, you just don't even understand how stuff works to even entertain that idea. All right. So uh, I talk about graphic interface and graphic delay sometimes, but it has to do with in context of there should be a certain amount of time that you can transition from one screen to the next. And when somebody is exceeding that by like seven, eight hundred percent, then it's mathematically impossible to do that via a graphical interface they're 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 using a triggered interface literally a bot that's that's what a bot does it eliminates the graphical interface and just operates off the triggers it's talking in real time with a server and just taking the code it's not turning it into graphics for you to see 
which has a delay to it. It's eliminating the delay. And so the combat bot becomes effective because it eliminates delay. And it doesn't matter how fast your twitch reflex of your thumbs are if you if the other person doesn't have the delay that you have. All right. So the firewall system, I one when we started putting all the stats and stuff into the website, we discovered some new math on how to defend against what basically was people that that were instantly jumping two, three thousand stats in the middle of a fight with me. Uh, and what looked like an abandoned account suddenly had this one stat that was stacked up real high so that they could win a fight within an hour or two of, of, of starting these fights. And that was, you can call it cheating if you want, but at the end of the day, it was to my advantage that they did what they did. Uh, all that trying to take advantage just to shut me down and he don't know crap thinking made it so I made better math for you guys. That, so you can thank all the little developer tools who, who, who just couldn't help themselves by uh, overinflating certain numbers on what we should have been abandoned accounts. The uh, I've got a video on them dropping the Excel spreadsheet showing the last time you logged in. And you got to remember, Guns of Glory lost everybody's login information at one point in time, especially to the King's Group stuff. If you had a King Group login in there and you hadn't logged in your account for a while, then your account is subject to be used during events if they need to do stuff across state, across lines. So now I've got this table broken down into color codes. Okay. And I will put some, I, I, I didn't do it yet. I, I will to break down the bottom tiers, the wooden tiers. Okay. This is pretty much required. If you don't want to lose whatever you have for a top March, whatever you're attacking people with, this setup will protect that march for at least one to three hits. Okay. This particularly, the reason it's color coded down here is vital to start gaining free loot from no loss event against heavy coiners. You know the guy that comes into UAC and speed hits everybody in your alliance, right? And then it takes seven hours for your alliance to get their T10 march back uh, so that they can start participating in UAC. And then you don't win UAC. You don't do good. You don't play like a team because now that everybody's walked away from their phone due to that one coiner who shut everything down, then you, you wind up with this asinine uh, time delay problem. Okay. It, it becomes a time versus effort issue. Um uh, so the T1 through T3s, you do this, you can take those hits. It's a no loss event. You're not going to overflow your hospitals, right? Hospitals don't matter in this area. Okay. Hospitals are relevant in these events. So UAC is what we're talking about here in this bottom tiers, really the bottom two tiers. But when we flow into the blue tiers, we start talking about a little bit of KR. If you're doing kingdom raid events where you're actually, I would say, uh, if you're doing Kingdom Raid events, you want this portion of the firewall actively effective. If you're one of these people who stays in your kingdom and wants to take two, three, four hits, you're going to take between, well, really up to six. Uh, me personally, with the tier six only, I took people who were 20% higher than me in stats. And I'm talking about guys with 14,000 top stats and mine are under 10,000 right now just ate their marches, just ate them up eight, 10 times. Okay. And the numbers weren't as big as I've got them in the table. Now I had some base math numbers here. Matter of fact, I was one third the numbers here, but I knew I was trying to figure out where the failover point was where I didn't have enough to make a proper firewall. So for about eight weeks here, I have been letting these, I've been parking myself in the forest with no bubble in KR and the little cheaters jump in in the first five minutes and they hit, 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 hit. And then the last uh, three KRs, they've come in there with mega rallies. And I'm eating two or three mega rallies from these monsters. And uh, so the firewall just works, guys. It, it is it's beautiful. And that's still with the dampened down firewall where I was trying to figure out 
if you don't have this built properly, does it work? So there was a whole bunch of stuff where I would leave holes in different areas where I just wouldn't have those troops or I'd leave them in the, the I'd leave them in the hospital and, and heal the stuff around them and fill the holes so that I could find what the fail points are. All right. So I, I found, I mean, I, I pulled an Edison, man. I found a thousand ways not to make a light bulb. So here's our light bulb, man. This is the shining light. So you get up into the red troops. Okay. This is where silver is required to build these troops. And it's big numbers. One, you're going to be fighting in these areas. These are going to be part of your main marches. So you need to have some for defense and some for fight. The uh, uh, So as you're building up your proper T3, you know, I would tell you, make sure your T4s through your, your max level at least have 100,000 in each. Don't leave them empty. Okay. Get that done and then start down here at tier, you know, get your T and then come put 100,000. Put 50,000 to start and then go up to 100,000. This takes, it took me at $40 per week, uh, Wednesday being the discount speed up day. This took me about two months to build my firewall up. But then it got to the point where I wasn't replacing troops that I had before. And that took probably four weeks to where when people were hitting me, Yes, I'd have to do a little bit of patching, but instead of losing this top tier, tier 12 that cost $250 to build a march, I was losing a $20 tier 3. That's it. That's the beauty of it. It's dirt cheap, it's fast, it's low cost on speed ups, and the speed ups I don't spend down here per, uh, replacing my firewall, I was able to put more and more attack marches up at the top. All right? Uh, I basically been playing with one attack march for three months while I do nothing but defense because defense has been dead for over a year and it's taking a long time to, I've got to wait every other week's a KR, right? So it takes, you know, so I can get, I needed those other players. There's actually no one big enough in my kingdom or silly enough to come hit me in my kingdom so i have to wait for these events and uac changes the math right you know you get the stat and so not really a good judgment but uh and quite frankly it doesn't take somebody long to figure out in uac don't hit him twice uh, and one of the other reasons we had to do this was the cross kingdom cheating that those players that are, are that are that are downloading People's stat reports and their their last location, the last time they logged in, all that stuff in the Excel spreadsheet. I got a whole video on the cheat where they have developer access and they're passing that information around to their advantage. They're trading it with other kingdoms to get you to zero this guy in this kingdom. Uh, you know, I'm in a UAC and the trolls in our kingdom are literally handing coordinates of where I'm at because I'm not even playing UAC, but I'm in the Alliance. I'm off in some random location and they're, they're just coming out to zero me so that somebody could steal a wonder. Uh, so I had to build a defense system to protect the work that I do as part of the research. Now I've got a system that can protect the research. Okay. Uh, it's very expensive <laughs> for uh, somebody to come over it, it, with these numbers that I've got here now, even in a KR, uh, it would take a guy who's at 14, 15,000, uh, who's 30% above me. It would take them, uh, you know, a good four or $500 of real money to put me down. And I only lose 10% of my troops. Uh, that's not, realistic for a real player to do uh you know you'd have to have some weird spite but i'm not that big of a player uh i'm i'm above average but i'm i'm just you get the people who are jealous because they, they went out and they bought stats and then they go but 
I got better stats than GunMuse does, and so that makes me a better person. I paid a China guy to tell everybody how much better that I am than GunMuse. And whatever weird, broken, mommy didn't love me enough freaking thinking that's going on there, whew, it just never ends. Uh, they, they don't comprehend the two worlds. We've got the YouTube world. We got the, or the three worlds. We got the YouTube world. We got the gaming world. And we got RogersRaiders.com, which is where this is at. This is where I help you guys that aren't trying to spend eight, nine hundred or thousand dollars a month take wins. So if you're going to aggressively attack KR, Tides event, you're going to be into this red area up here. You're going to have to have a firewall up here. Uh, this will do a lot more return damage if somebody comes at you having this firewall built up. You know you're going to take hits. You know your hospitals are going to fill up. Okay? At that point, your hospitals are coming into play. So that's why this is color-coded different. These two events of firewalls, Kingdom Hospitals, whatever, you know, no loss event, border hospitals uh, for KR down here. You know, we can we can flood the zone with border hospitals with as many T3s or T2s as we want to. So that's hospitals are a portion of the play. So if you're going to be aggressively attacking people, anybody that sees you send a march out and attacks you back, they're losing their march. And these are loss events. That march is poof, gone. We call that poof in the march, right? So they're going to sit, if they're going to, even if they send you 10 T12s at you and they're 20% above you and you're attacking the players, you know, you can kill with your March and their big guy in their alliance comes after you. That big guy just lost 250 bucks. All right. He won't do it twice if he's a real player. If there's some fake crap going on there where they're getting free stuff or if he's just one of these guys who happens to be an Arab prince that there always seems to be trying to go after uh, that just just can't help themselves. They got to spend forty thousand dollars a day on the game. I've I've met one or two players who are at that volume of, of play. Uh, we all know players like Girls and 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 Escher and Dark Mystic and things like that. Those accounts that are high dollar, high risk accounts. We don't get to play at that level. I don't get to play at that level. Uh, the most I can spend on this game per month is 800 to 1,000 bucks to, you know, that I'm recoverable in play in, in gameplay. Uh, the, it's, that's my limits, you know. And I would tell everybody that's playing this game, figure out what your limits are. It is a gambling thing. You know, you're you're gambling with your real money, but and you're not going to get any money back in return from this from this organization. I got all the stuff over in Idle Tools, which is about making money now, so that in the world of pay to play that we're heading into, if you want to keep playing games, you better figure out some way to replace money. Uh, the uh, and I'm starting to do that now, and we're we're, we're playing with that. So different topic. The T12s, these are your Escher guys. These are your Dark Mystic things like that. Uh, this is a guy that may be a team member for them. What they would need to sit in the forest. The uh, This is what you need in this yellow zone to sit in the forest. You need all these rows. But you need these top rows up here to make sure that when they hit these bottom rows, that the maximum, I mean, that you're poofing the march. Uh, so they killed two million three T threes. Who cares, right? It's twenty bucks down there, but they didn't kill two hundred fifty dollars, three hundred dollars worth of T twelves. Okay, no T thirteens, right? T thirteens are twenty percent above T twelves. Uh, this is a firewall. This is your protection up to T thirteens. So a T twelve firewall is designed to protect the T thirteen march. Because you don't want to lose those expensive troops. Somebody sitting there banging, 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 banging at you. You don't want to do that. Now, this all said, guys, you've got to get your academy up. You know, like I said before, you've got to get your academy up. You've got to do that base research. you got to put banners on buildings again. 
All right, we'd been skipping that for about a year because they broke the math. There was a whole bunch of math. They've, they've come in here and that math is starting to get fixed. You got to put the banners back on the buildings and you got to got to get the stuff up and you got to get your damages where they're supposed to be. And you got to stop ignoring artillery. Okay. Artillery is huge on defense of your castles. All right. You've got to, you know, if you're going to effectively play with a firewall system and you're going to destroy people's will to attack you, the artillery numbers are vital. Your artillery health is vital. Your artillery defense is vital. Your, your artillery, oh, well, the, uh, this is while I'm recording, but it's, it's my live software. So that's kind of what the, they, uh, so Tyler, you got into the, you got into the recorded video. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, the uh <laughs> that distracted me so badly okay so the artillery the attack on the artillery is for wolf uh it, it it doesn't it doesn't really matter the nice thing about getting the artillery done and you do it first when you're building these marches up the order in which you build your firewall is left to right this is in order artillery distance infantry cavalry Okay, there's a method to that madness because you're vulnerable while you're building the layer. So while you're getting this done, you got to have bubbles up because you're off balance. Okay, once you rebalance one grid of this, you can start leaving your bubble down. That asshole that's going to hit you in the middle of the night is going to hurt himself way worse than he's ever going to hurt you. Okay. You want that. The uh, you want that damn sure during a KR event because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get points for him killing his troops. You're gonna get the tier twelve kills when he's gonna get tier three kills. He's gonna get squat for points. The volume, the remember, there's more. It's not the volume of troops; it's what the points of the troops are worth. So, again, during KR, I'm trading T threes for T twelves all day long, and I'll gladly do that. The uh, so. Start your firewalls up. Remember, this is the UAC defense system. KR, aggressive KR attack sides. Uh, and then you get into your KVK, serious loss events. This is for the people who are spending crap loads of money. But this cuts down their cost of spending money. It also does another thing real quick. Uh, so I got my defense system up here. If I needed to upgrade... Uh, four or five marches on the attack real quickly. I have a pool of T-11s that's normally part of my defense system that I can steal from in the middle of a fight. The, uh, while I, cause using a puddle of my, of uh, my speed ups. Okay. Uh, I personally stockpile the T-8 tier. It's cheap to build and it's a very low cost speed up. It's, 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 it's not, it's only about 20, it, it's, it takes about, it's 25, if, oh, the tier 12 uses the same RSS where the upgrade or you build it, okay, and from, from tier 8 to tier 12, tier 8 is 25% of the tier 12, so you're saving about 25% of the time from the tier 8s, uh, and I use that calculation, so if I have 10,000 hours of speed ups, and I got tier 8s, that means that I can, I'm, it would be the same as having 13,000 hours of, or 12,500 hours of uh, tier 10 speed up, or tier 12 speed ups, right? Uh, if I was doing upgrades. So to get that stuff in there. Uh, the other video prior to this, the one just prior to this, we did the gyms and the upgrade gear type stuff. So look, look at that. I will annotate down here the suggested portions of this thing to read this table you do that's the firewall calculator is up here in the top right you do have to be a member i'm charging you two dollars a month but i'm gonna save you hundreds if you're an active player uh the uh that's that's the deal right we, we're trying to save you money here uh and as this stuff we i'll tune this the uh the, now that the numbers in here they're in the database and they're backed up because i destroyed it last week uh, now I can go in here and make minor adjustments for this stuff. Uh, 
because you see, I mean, you're looking at my screen, and for anybody going up there and going, you need 7,000 infantry or 7 million infantry on your T-12s? Uh, yeah, I do, if I'm going to actively play an engaging KVK. Uh, that's the number that I need right now to sit in the forest and force other monster players, people that are that are 20% above me, to engage me thinking they're going to out gold spin me. All right. And I'm, I'm going to be trading them. I'm going to I'm going to be eating their main marches down here while they're trying to eat my main marches up here. So I get to keep engaging towers while they bleed on my bottom my bottom rows. All right. The, uh, the only place that I'm going to lose these top tier 12s with this system is on the attack. So I get in over my head because my stats are too low and I'm, 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 I'm punching up too hard. Then I will start losing those $250 marches myself by, by poor gameplay. Uh, and everybody assumes that every time I lose a big march, it's poor gameplay instead of me testing what I'm doing. But I do I typically know if I'm going to win or lose. Uh, you know, I, I do the math for you guys, right? It's, I know before I click the button, uh, but I also don't assume. So if what I'm doing, if what I'm doing is new and it's all theory, I tend to have to sacrifice a $250 march to make it, to, to prove the theory out. Uh, the, during KVKs, when you see me run around and kill all the towers by myself on the lives, that's because I utilize the, uh, the prayer, you know, my battlefield treatment up to 60%, I make the best possible use of that to save my troops, uh, to keep my costs down for research. So that's why I do that the way I do that, where I bounce around and hit all, hit all the towers all at once. Uh, I got 30 minutes that I can that I can do some quick testing and cut my costs down by 60%, right? Uh, that's, I, I'm assuming I might lose most of those troops. And Again, I had been playing those tower killing things with one march. Uh, the uh, everything else was on the defense. The uh, so I'm shifting into a new gear of gameplay where I'm actually playing at a higher. I'm going to start playing at a higher level. And what the people who have been testing me are about to see is some very costly testing if they want to keep doing that. Uh, the because uh, we're going to be putting some new mood systems in here. Uh, I always introduce the stuff that's worked for, for me for a while, but then I've already got what's coming next in the works. So make sure you like, subscribe, and come over and sign up on RogersRaiders.com. I appreciate it. Thank you.